Hey, thanks for joining Tuscan TV today. Today we're heading out and gonna look at a couple of vintage stores, resale stores, uh, maybe some Targets and some Walmarts. So, hey, come on us. Come on <laughs> us. So come along and join us on a couple of ventures today. But first, donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. All right, so we're here coming into Apple Tree. I'm gonna head into one of my booths, one of my favorite booths that I've found recently that they have here. So we're gonna check it out. So let's see what they have. Some Jurassic Park stuff. It's all Pokemon. A few Transformers there. All right, so we're leaving the Apple Tree and uh, I found a couple of things and I'll show you guys that later on. And uh, we're gonna head to an estate liquidation cell. So we're gonna see if we can find anything there. So that's some cool fun code here at the state sale. It's kind of crazy to have this much stuff at a state sale. So that was pretty cool. Had a bunch of Star Wars Black Series stuff. Not a bunch, but some cool ones. Got a clone commander, Fox. Here's Death Star Trooper, Cal, Yoda, the second sister. Carbonized too. Carbonized second sister for $20. It's not bad. And Optimus Prime. And I found a couple of Indiana Jones comics that I'm gonna get. So, uh, there's about two or three. Hey, you can come back tomorrow. It's okay. <laughs> Just come back tomorrow. It's awesome. Thank you very much. You bet. All right, so we got some great finds at the estate sale and, uh, and a pretty good deal because Michelle talked them down on a good deal and apparently I could have got a better deal but I didn't do it but hey you win some lose some but I figure I figure I got a pretty good deal on it so now we're gonna head out to another place it's called uh, decades revisited. revisited and it's another vintage store so we're gonna check that one out and uh, let's go see what we can find there I had some good finds so far and you can see that at the end of the video so watch the end of the video and check out what we picked up all right all right I did find um, Star Trek Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Chief Engineer Michelangelo and some Power of the Force here at the Decades. Star Wars Power of the Force, but not a whole, a whole lot. Here's that Star Trek Michelangelo mint on card, but the price is 36 bucks. <laughs> so I'm like, mm, nope, not having that one. They did have a few red lines. So if you see, there's some beta red lines that are extremely overpriced. And yeah, some Star Wars figures too, vintage ones. They had some couple cool vintage Mickeys here. Have the Mickey doll, which is in really good shape. And just some miscellaneous things. Oh, wow, they have a Winston. Oh, he's beat up. Look at this proton pack, $25. Pass on that one. And there's Egon too. Get Egon as well. And he is 18. He may have Master of the Universe comics, but would come with the old action figures, so I'm gonna show you, show you those. Pretty awesome. Oh, well, it's a pretty good deal for all those. Here's $8. There's a Robo Force. And then an ET. So, yeah, those are pretty cool. And there's all of them that you can collect. Here's your checklist. Found this really cool um, Halloween decoration. I think it's rad, look at that. Looks like One-Eyed Willie from the Goonies. Pretty cool idea, this is at a vintage store. That's awesome. Totally awesome. Now we're driving down the road and there's like tons of bikers down here for some reason. I think we passed where we need to be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was back watching there. Watching the bikers. Yeah, watching the bikers, I think we lost track. Do I turn right or left here? Uh, I would say turn around in the parking lot over there. Okay. All right, so we're checking out the um, Walmart. 
and of course they have they have a couple of the new Star Wars Black Series figure. That Tebow the Ewok, which he's actually really neat. It's a pretty cool figure. And then they had Admiral Akbar. That's a drop. He's back again. That's a really cool figure. You know, some of the 40th stuff. And then, oh, got a new Boba. He's here. So he's actually been kind of tough to find. Definitely the child stuff. And then they have on this one here, of course, the Mandalorian and the child inside. The speeder bike. That's a really cool one. I actually like that one a lot. And then, of course, the bounty collection. And tons of the child. I remember one time you couldn't find these anywhere, but man, they are popping up like crazy. And of course, they're master of the WWE Universe. That crazy uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage figure, which is sick. Had a Rey Mysterio, Faker John. I mean, got tons of them here. They're all up top. And then on the W, uh, the Elite Series. They have Elizabeth. Uh, some UFC figures. And the He-Man, of course, and the Skeletor. And then that cool Battle Cat for 20... Oh, Avalanche for 2486. Oh, there it goes. Falling over. And then let's check out the head course, the Godzilla and Kong stuff here. The cool Power Ranger sword. Which is cool. They still have plenty of the old Iron Giant figures. Forbidden Planet, Robbie, the robots. And then, once again, the Peg Warmers. The Plasma Siri Ghostbusters. Peg Warmers here in Oklahoma. Then, man, they still have these cool cables. Very cool. If you saw the last video, bought one of those. So, yeah. And it does say 2486 for that one. Once again, the PKE readers. Those are cool. Nothing really new on the Marvel Legends stuff. Same Spider-Man. This one actually has the uh, Marvel's Maverick. That's kind of it on those. Hot Wheels, same crap, same stuff. Oh, wow, well, cool. That's pretty cool. New uh, Monster Jam Ninja Turtles. There's Raphael and Leonardo. So that's pretty cool. Oh, then they have a new Bone Shaker too. That's pretty rad. I haven't seen that. Very cool. Oh, then I found very cool. This hit. First time from me seeing this Autobot Blaster. That vintage packaging. That one's pretty red. Tons of the child. Okay, so that was a cool one. With the Autobot Blaster. So cool. Good fun. All right, so I'm on Ollie's and this is the first White Lightning I found in a long time. Check it out. This is what it's supposed to look like compared to the White Lightning. Not a major find, but the first one that I've found in a long time. So that's pretty cool. This is at Ollie's. Sweet, sweet find today. And here's a pretty rare error for Johnny Lightning, an upside down car. I don't think I've ever seen one that's upside down. Oh my God, I can't believe this. This is number two. So there's another White Lightning. White tires, the gold window, gold rims. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and film the rest of this. See, what see if I can find anything else. Crazy. I'm, I'm digging deep. I'm digging deep. Let's see. Nothing to find right now. Let's see. I'm digging way deep in here. These 
hung on the pegs or anything. They're just kind of thrown in here, so I'm having to do some diving. It's not the first time. So that's not bad. Two white lightnings. There's a whole bunch of stacked mess in here. It's like they're just thrown in here. It's awesome. I'm gonna put these back up now. So awesome, crazy finds at Ollie's. Those whites and that gold rush, those are looking cool. All right, so as you saw, we just went to Ollie's and I can't believe I found two white lightnings in that gold rush. Those white lightnings, I haven't found white lightnings in eight years that I haven't found a white lightning. And that, yeah, if not more, I mean, that is crazy. And uh, that was awesome to go to Ollie's and, you know, $3.99, I had to do some digging. I don't know if I got any video. I mean, well, yeah, you saw some of that video where I was actually digging and that was, that was nuts. I mean, it was awesome. I mean, I'm super excited. I, I wasn't even supposed to go there today. I actually convinced the wife to uh, take me over there and we drove over there after one of the vintage store, you know, shopping things we did. And oh my God, I'm like super, super excited. So awesomeness. Hey, so check it out. We stopped in at the Hallmark and we found, well, actually I found these really cool vinyl figures are called Squillies. This is series one and they have a Superman. That was cool. Captain Kirk, which is actually, he's really neat. The Enterprise actually looks pretty cool as a car. Batgirl, she's cool. The Flash, and then, oops, they have Wonder Woman, she's cool. And then on display they have an Aquaman, and Aquaman's actually really neat. Oops, he's really neat, check him out. His car is pretty cool. It's really neat. And they have that Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Batgirl, and Aquaman available. That's Squealies. It says revved up and ready to ride. Those are cool. Those are at Hallmark. You should check them out sometime. Hey, what a great day for a toy hunt. First, we went out to a couple of vintage stores. We went to a state sale. We went to a Walmart. We went to... Hallmark too and then we also went to Ollie's and uh, I'm gonna show you what I found and uh, I had a pretty great day today on my find so let's start with my first spot that I went to and um, let's see I found this which is this was pretty cool this is like a they use this is actually what you can use for like a display it's a smaller scale type of display so I picked this up this was 10 bucks it's a pretty good find and uh, you can put smaller items on it. So I kind of bought this for some of my smaller little knickknack figures like my Wreck-It Ralph and some of the little mini Funko. And uh, it's like an old type uh, printer set. So they would stack the letters inside of it. So I found that at 10 bucks. So that was a good find for my display. And this is what I picked up at the vintage store, the first one. These were $1.50. Excuse the crinkle. But these were $1.50 a piece. And these are cool. You've seen them before, but they're the Mini Funko. And I found a Black Panther. That's right, the old Marvel uh, Black Panther. I found that, which is awesome. I love Black Panther. And then I found a Thor, which is awesome too. Pretty cool, right? $1.50 a piece. Couldn't beat that price, couldn't pass it up. So I picked those up. So we left there. And we went to uh, um, the apple tree, which I love the apple tree. And I, I sh shot some video there. And I really didn't find a lot. Actually, I'm lying. I did find something. And what did I find? Oh, that's what I found. I found the typecast. I found that little um, display. And I found the Funko. And then I also found a uh, vintage Hot Wheel. And I can't seem to find it right now. Oh, so yeah, I found the vintage Hot Wheel and I found that one. It's kind of like the blue and white card. I mean, I phased them from the blue card, which were going from the black wall. Um, so this is a cool one. I actually like this bug a lot. So I picked that one up and I like the display of my bugs. I, I collect mostly Volkswagens and bugs for my Hot Wheels. So 
That was a good find. It was two dollars, so found that. So after that, went directly over. It's around the corner. It's right around the corner, by black block and a half or two blocks away. It was on 38th Street, and I found this huge. It had a huge estate sale. They had all kinds of stuff, and there's a little bit of video of that. They had like uh, Black Series action figures there, Funko stuff like that. But I actually picked up some really cool stuff that um, I thought was really cool for me. I picked up uh, some Indiana Jones comic books. Which check out that cover. That's pretty cool. Escaping over a waterfall, you know, getting away from the bad guys. That's pretty cool. There's a little Indiana Jones nipple there. What's up with that? What's up with the Indiana Jones nipple? I don't know. But I like this one. That was a cool cover. But look at the back. It has the uh, Star Wars arcade. Uh, bring it home uh, cartridge, you know, from Parker Brothers. Which in the last video I showed you that. But it's got that ad on it. That's pretty cool. And then I, here's the other ones. That's a cool cover. Indiana Jones. Awesome. Run away in some fields. Airplane shooting at him. That's a cool one. Classic Indiana Jones moment. And then this was really cool. It's called Indiana Jones. And this is a dragon. Yeah, dragon by the tail. And of course, you know, you see the dragon there and there's Indiana Jones shadow. But that was pretty cool. And these are the further adventures of Indiana Jones. And these came about, I believe, in 1983, 1984. And those are pretty awesome finds. I love Indiana Jones. And so that was really cool to add those. And at the same estate sale, the guy had a bunch of, I had a friend, Dustin. He hit me up and said, hey, I'm letting you know that there's a, an estate sale going on. They had action figures and they had uh, vintage Star Wars stuff. And I said, oh, I already had that marked in my favorites from uh, Facebook Marketplace. So we both had the same idea. And I picked up some really cool things. So um, from Empire Strikes Back, I picked up this awesome. It's Bounty Hunter. They didn't have the weapons, but it's still cool. Fine. This thing is in like near mint condition to mint condition. Um, he is freaking sweet. Like totally awesome uh they were 10 bucks and so he's missing his weapon but he is so sweet and awesome and that's a four lom or four loam or four loom whatever you want to call them or a zuxus uh which is what some people call them because of the mix up uh, blah, because of the mix up on the packaging but check him out man he he is super awesome like for real like fantastic specimen I could not have asked for a better find. Joints are good. Joints are stiff. I mean, perfect. Almost perfect. So I found that one. And then I also found a bib from Return of the Jedi. He has his coat and he has, you know, his little armor plates inside of it. Like I said, these guys are like near perfect. This one has a little spot on his jacket, but it is awesome. Awesome figure. Everything about this was awesome. I actually own one already, but I couldn't pass this one up because it actually had the armor and everything. I was like, oh, wow. And then Prune Face. Found Prune Face. I mean, he was sweet. I mean, check him out. Prune Face. And he is actually in mint condition too. I mean, he is amazing. Check him out. Prune Face. This guy had these listed for $10 each. And I actually, um, my wife was like, would you take 40 for five? And he was like, yeah, sure. I'll take 40 for five. And so that was three. And then bam, a Royal guard. I mean, I don't know where this guy picked these things up, but he had a whole box full of them. Uh, I shot a little video there and I hope, hopefully I get to post that in this, but, um, man, and they're perfect. Like they are perfect. Like the joints are perfect and everything. I mean, these are amazing. For 10 bucks and then of course last but not least a tuscan raider you know i had to get the tuscan raider he has this one's kind of you know has a little bit of damage on his hand you know paint's coming off but the cape is really good everything's pretty cool no weapons but he will display nicely and all the joints are really good so all those those five vintage star wars action figures Boom. Bam. All those guys I paid $40 for. And for the condition they're in, that was well, well worth it. It was worth it for me. You know, I always tell people that, you know, people ask all the time, you know, how much is that worth? How much is this worth? It's worth what you're willing to pay for it. So if you find a toy, man, and somebody says, oh, it's too much. But if you're willing to pay that, that's how much it's worth. 
So, I mean, sometimes I'll pay a little bit more for something if I see it in person and I like it a lot. So, so that was a great find. And then after that, we went to the Wagon Wheel, which is another video I shot and, uh, a while back. And it's another place I like to go to. And so I found a, boom, a Kenner uh, Robin Hood. And this is a uh, Friar Tuck. And uh, I bought this because uh, one time I had my hair cut, like the emo style haircut, bowl cut looking stuff. And uh, I, I said, man, I look horrible with this haircut. I look like fat fuck tuck. <laughs> and so since that day, I gave myself like this little nickname of fat fuck tuck. And it was cool. I mean, you can't, uh, I, I couldn't pass this one up because it was so hilarious that I was like, hey, that's my nickname. That's the nickname I gave myself. My wife like died laughing. Uh, it was crazy, but uh, that was a cool action figure. And this thing is mint on card. So you're talking about a, a action figure from Kenner, 1991. They're not really sought after, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is a great action figure. Like even like everything about this guy is pretty amazing. And uh, it's mint condition, mint on the card. The card is actually pretty dang close to mint. I mean, it's not really worth getting this graded or anything, but I couldn't pass it up. And I think that was 15 bucks. So I left there and then I went to Hallmark. Actually, I went home, took a break, and then I uh, went back out and I was going to go and look for some of the, uh, the um, Marvel Legends that are hitting, the two packs that are hitting Ollie's, the one with Luke Cage and the one with Thor in it. And I was going to look for some and get my son one. And I, you know, no luck, no luck. And it was, you know, so we're, I was feeling a little bit bummed. I'm going to leave the store. I was like, hey, I'm going to look at the die cast. And so... As you saw in that video that I had, I was digging down through the die cast and I could not believe it. It was so insane what I found. And I'm gonna just show you these. Um, they're freaking awesome. And of course, it's Ollie's. I found, of course, the Gold Rush uh, 1958 Corvette, which was freaking sweet. I mean, look at that bad boy. That thing is awesome, man. Found that. Totally awesome, amazing Johnny Lightning. Um, with a gold chrome, gold wheels. And then, oh my God, first one I found, White Lightning, the Fireball. And of course, you can tell it's the White Lightning. All pearl White Lightning body, white base. I mean, I was so stoked. I was like, no freaking way, White Lightning. I mean, it's not a really popular White Lightning to get, but I found that one, that was pretty awesome. And then I go digging some more and I turn the camera off, but oh my God, another White Lightning Bam, in the wild. I mean, that's pretty rare to find one. And then I actually found two, two. White Lightning's back to back. And then digging more, found the Gold Rush. I mean, what what a what a day for good die cast haul. And I'll probably hold one of these and maybe trade these with some dudes that I know, uh, maybe for some other Hot Wheels that I want, like the, um, maybe a drag bus or Maybe some Star Wars vintage stuff. It's really hard to find Star Wars vintage uh, items around here, especially with people that collect die casts because a lot of them don't do both of them. So, but wow, 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 wow. I mean, are you, I mean, are you kidding me? Like for real, what, what's my luck? My, that is crazy luck. This the only one I don't like is, uh, I don't like, I don't like that the card is bent right here, but I mean, these cars are amazing. And that was insane and I found those. Had such a great time out today. So I went to a couple other places, vintage places, didn't have any luck, you know, just was kind of like hit and miss. The whole day was kind of like, I was missing things. I was just like, ah, oh, which just, just wasn't vibing. Wasn't vibing, so I was like, went home and got a breather, went back out and struck gold with the Johnny Lightnings. That was probably, it's probably one, I mean, probably one of the best finds in a long time because I have not found a white lightning in seriously almost eight years. So in eight years, I've looked, never found one. Super treasure hunts, hardly ever find those. And then I go, bam, hit that. I mean, that was pretty awesome. So, hey, you know what? If you guys enjoy my videos, subscribe, like this video, hit that notification button, leave some comments down below. Tell me what you're looking for. Tell me what you want me to look for. I mean, I'm always out looking for stuff. Tell me what you'd like to see more of. Um, what do you think about the... The white lightnings I found. I mean, is that crazy or what? I mean, and then the Friar Tuck, man. What an awesome figure to find in those vintage uh, Star Wars. I lucked into those. It was a pretty awesome deal. Five for $40. 
And then my Indiana Jones, I thought that was a great find. I love hanging these up, you know, putting them in frames just for artwork. So it was an amazing day, and I hope you guys had an amazing day. And always remember, treat people well, do good things. Peace out.